Welcome to day 250 of our DSO journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian. And remember these videos are sponsored by Cloud Cox. Yeah, Cloud Cox actually auctioned off another Cloud Cox last night. It was the Bat Cox. And uh, it ended up selling for about $266 to French Connector. Um, Cloud Cox, uh, their long-term vision they tell us is a multi-branded degenerate ruling class of the social economy. But like I said before, they have so many plans and I'm really excited to watch as this thing kind of grows and expands and explodes. Yeah, so if you're interested in chickens, roosters, or just art, check out the Cloud Cox. Um, Jack Dorsey yesterday stepped down in huge news. He stepped down as the CEO of Twitter and you know that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think we all kind of saw it eventually coming it was clear that the board didn't really want him as the founder to be there anymore. Uh, Dorsey understood that as the founder, it was kind of important to step away so that the company could be kind of its own name, uh, not attached to Dorsey. Um, but the guy that took over, uh, I don't- Parag, Parag Agrawal. Agrawal, yeah. He, so he was actually the head of Twitter's Blue Sky program. And if you don't know what that was, that was actually a program created in 2019, which was to create this decentralized social media protocol that other applications could build on top of. It was very much similar to DSO, but, but uh, obviously a, a corporation would be the one that would have sparked it at Twitter. Um, it's, it's, it's hard to imagine that a corporation like Twitter would go that route because I feel like it would be terrible for their business model. I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I guess you just have to change the business model somewhat. I mean, there's different ways to monetize things, I guess. But, but this was like kind of like a test. Like in 2019, it was created. Twitter itself just last month, or no, just this month, created their, uh, their blockchain uh, division. And now you see Agrawa becoming CEO and he was the head of Blue Sky, it definitely makes you question like what they could be up to. And it definitely gives the idea of decentralized social media a major boost because I mean, the, one of the major social media platforms is looking into doing something. Yeah, and uh, Darmesh yesterday on DSO had, had an interesting take. He made a post and he said about, he made a post about this whole Twitter thing, Dorsey stepping down and Agrawal's taking his place, he said, who knows, maybe they'll even integrate with DSO someday. That's not as far-fetched as it sounds. But you know, I, who knows? I mean, it's, it's, I mean, we definitely don't wanna be jumping to any conclusion. I doubt, I highly doubt that they have DSO in their sights, like in a near-term thing, but you never, you never know what could happen. I, I think ultimately, if there is one, one protocol or one blockchain that really dominates social, I think you're definitely going to see the major social media platforms at least trying to get involved somehow. Uh, but that's, that's probably a couple years down the line from now. Yeah, I, I'd have to agree. In other news, Salil Sethi, he got his question back from Natter through the Dr. Kat Cohen dinner. He asked one of the questions and he posted that publicly for all to see. And it has nothing to do about DSO. Nothing to do with DSO. <laughs> But uh, I'll, I'll read the question. His question was, what is worth having and comes easy? So that's what he asked Natter. And Natter's response was, love. All you have to do is open your heart to it. Yeah, two things. Um, number one, uh, Salil is hilarious. Uh, this is definitely a question I'd see him asking, like something totally unrelated to DSO. Um, and number two, this was probably answered probably around uh, Natter's wedding. So um, obviously love was probably in his heart. Love was in the air at the time. And it was, it was a good answer. It was a good question and a good answer. And I, I think it was nice to have something that wasn't DSO tech related. Uh, so congrats to, to Salil for asking a good question and congrats to Natter for giving a good answer. Yeah, so Coinbase, we keep talking about Coinbase. You know, there are rumors that it was coming before the end of this month. Uh, I doubt that's happening just because Natter and Alex. Two were, days, the end of the month. <laughs> yeah, so I doubt that's happening. I doubt it's coming today. Natter and Alex were busy with the Octane Fund up until yesterday, I believe. I think today. Today, 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 is, the today is the last day of the meetings. So I highly doubt they're going to have the Coinbase listing 
while they're still working on the Octane Fund. But High Key's kind of hinting that they that they might know something. They made a t- made, they made a post on DSO yesterday that said, "We have reasonable info to assume the Coinbase listing will be the first week of December." Now I don't know what the first week of December would be considered. Technically, December starts tomorrow, but it's not really the first full week. So maybe they're talking about next week. Well, well, it can be the first week. So tomorrow starts a week, so you have seven days from tomorrow. Yeah. So I mean, who knows? We've heard rumors in the past, and you know, you hear a lot of stuff. And I, I, I think some of the rumors were true, but things got changed. You know, like I, I think they originally planned by certain dates, but things got pushed back because there were issues that issues with getting the listed in Coinbase, maybe some bugs in the script. And you just, I mean, we don't know, but I think it's coming really soon. I mean, that's the sense I get like within weeks, but we'll see. Well, and you had to remember that they could have it planned for tomorrow, but maybe, maybe there's a coding glitch that they need to fix. So uh, things get pushed back, things get pushed around with Coinbase, particularly because they're the, they're pretty much one of the top exchange crypto exchanges on the internet. They want to make sure everything's perfect. There's a lot of regulation hurdles that they have to probably jump through at, at first to list something. So things can slip, slip a little bit. So if, if it happens this week, next week, the following week, who knows, but it does seem that it's coming very soon. Yeah, for sure. So Zengo CEO, Zengo is a crypto wallet. Uh, they have multiple cryptocurrencies. Their CEO, Oriel, we actually met him in Miami several months back. And he's, he's really into DSO. He really likes DSO. And I know he's probably building some things on DSO. He made a post yesterday that said, in a few days, we will announce important news about DSO. Stay tuned. We know that it's not a Zengo DSO listing. Somebody asked him that and he said, flat out, no. So I don't know what it is, but he's, it seems like he's working on something or he knows something. So in a few days, we're going to see some, some sort of announcement. So that's something else to look forward to. I, I think no matter what, these next few weeks are going to be exciting. Uh, I think that just from now till the end of the year, I think we're going to see a lot of interesting things come about, whether it is the announcement of those 20 projects that got grants, the announcement of the 10 plus who got venture capital, capital, uh, whether it is a Coinbase listing or maybe other exchange listings as well, or whatever, whatever Oriel is talking about. Um, there's so much to look forward to. Um, I know that the team, the core team has been working super hard throughout the Thanksgiving holiday. I, I know that they're obviously pushing forward with some, some pretty big things. Uh, and it's, it's not just Natter and it's not just Alex. Uh, with the Octane Fund, but it's also the core developers, Maybeam, Lazy Nina. Uh, I know Fast Freddy's been working his butt off. He's been communicating a lot in Discord. So a lot is happening behind the scenes and there's a lot to get excited about. Uh, I do want to say like when, when the DSO coin's trading at $55, we say the same thing. Don't concentrate on the coin price. The coin price is going to jump up and down based on speculation, based on supply and demand, based on a whole array of things. Concentrate on the number of daily active users. Concentrate on the number of projects that are getting funding, the number of projects that are hiring people, expanding and marketing DSO. And concentrate on the engagement on the platform. And I think everything else will work itself out. The coin price will probably eventually follow. And as long as you have daily actives uptrending, engagement uptrending, and the number of developers coming and building on the platform uptrending, the coin price will trend up. It might bounce up and down wildly, but it's going to trend up ultimately if that happens. Yeah. So I I think that's all we have to say for day 250. And we'll be back at you tomorrow for day 251. Have a great day, everyone.